The Brazilian Grand Prix of 2018 saw one of the most controversial incidents of 2018. The Max Verstappen Esteban Ocon crash and everything that happened after that. And in this video we're going to analyse absolutely everything that happened and who was right and who was wrong. The only way to know is to find out in this video. So first let's start off with how this crash happened and the events building up to the accident. So we'll start off with the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Now after starting in 5th place Max had a great race as he went from 5th all the way into 1st place. Passing Kimi Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas and the world champion Lewis Hamilton. It was set to be one of the best races of Max's career with a storming drive into the lead. Meanwhile, for Esteban Ocon, things were not going too great. Now, he started in 18th place because of a gearbox penalty, but was starting to fight his way through the field, passing a couple of the McLarens and Williamses, and was definitely getting closer to the points after starting on the soft compound tyres. Then, Ocon pitted for the first time to go onto fresh, super soft tyres, and came back onto the track just behind Max Verstappen. And in the first couple of laps after he pitted, he was faster. And it got to the point that Esteban felt as though he was being held up. So he asked his team whether he could pass and the team said yes. So with the use of his ERS battery, he tried to pass Max into turn one. Max went slightly defensive on the inside of turn one in case Ocon went for a risky move. Ocon instead went around the outside of turn one to go for the inside of turn two. And then of course contact and that's where the controversy starts now we'll get into the blame game who was at fault for me max verstappen was not at fault at all because one i don't really think max was holding up ocon until that moment and also if you go back and look at the crash verstappen had the racing line going into turn two and his car was ahead going into turn two as well so for me had the right to turn in and because Max Verstappen is ahead and is the race leader, he can do exactly what he wants to with his line into turn two. Now for me, this is why with this crash, Esteban Ocon is 100% at fault. Now I must stress this before everyone in the comments goes absolutely crazy. Esteban Ocon, of course, is allowed to unlap himself if he is the faster car. But he has to do it in a safe manner which does not compromise the race leader's race nor does it hinder Max's race. But that's exactly what Ocon did, he destroyed Verstappen's chances of winning the race. Now as I just said, unlapping yourself is absolutely fine. But not only can you not hinder the race leader's race, you've got to pass at a corner which is not so risky to go for the pass. Even though you can make a move into turn 2, it is still a massive risk. And I think Ocon personally would have been better waiting until turn 4 to pass, not turn 2. Or even around the outside of turn 3. Because turn 2 is such a risky corner to go for an overtake. And you basically have to have your car fully alongside or ahead going into turn 2 to make a pass possible. So in what I am sure is a very controversial opinion, Ocon is 100% at fault. Now, how exactly did it hinder Max Verstappen's race? Well, at the time, Verstappen was leading the Brazilian Grand Prix. And after this crash, now Lewis Hamilton was the leader. Now, even though Verstappen closed Hamilton down to one and a half seconds by the end of the Brazilian Grand Prix, it's pretty clear that this did cost him the win. I don't really think any of us can doubt that. Also, was Ocon's punishment fair? Because he crashed into the race lead of Verstappen, he got a 10 second stop go penalty. For me, this was the right punishment. I don't think he deserved to be disqualified from the race, it wasn't that bad, but was bad enough for a 10 second stop go penalty, and deserved to have his race destroyed after he destroyed Max's. So for me, that is all good. But then we have what happened after the race finished. This is where it gets extremely heated. So what happened was Max went to confront Ocon after the race had finished, just before Verstappen went to the podium, as of course he wanted to confront Ocon about what happened. Now according to Max Verstappen, Ocon when he was asked what happened, 
He smiled and said, I was faster. Now, of course, with the mood that Max was in, this was not going to help. As then Max a few times pushed Ocon and eventually the two were broken up. Since that though, they have shook hands and are all good. But for Max, was he right in what he did to Ocon after the race? And was the punishment for Max of two days of community service also fair? Well, when it comes to the community service, I don't think he should have got that. Because to be honest, I've seen a lot worse in F1 and in general sport. For example, when Nelson Piquet once assaulted a driver for taking him out of a Grand Prix. That is worse than a few pushes. As Piquet was punching and kicking, not pushing. And I can't really remember any punishment for Piquet at that time. So for me, Max really should have just got a fine or something. As again, for me, two days of service for the FIA seems a bit extreme. But was Max right to push Ocon? Of course not. In no way am I condoning what Max did. He obviously should have handled his emotions better at that time. And probably should not have even gone to see Ocon in the first place. Because of how no pun intended mad Max was, he was always going to do that. Let's just say that right now Max is not the most mature driver on the grid. So he definitely was susceptible to doing that if he went to see Ocon, which he did. So in hindsight, he should have just gone straight to the podium and forgot about it. Because at the end of the day, using violence is never going to solve anything. It never does and it never will. And if anyone out there thinks that violence does solve problems, I'm afraid you're an idiot. Now I'm not necessarily saying Max is an idiot because I don't think Max believes that either. It was just one of those things in the heat of the moment. As in hindsight I don't think he would have done this. So that is my take on this controversy. Make sure you guys comment down below of what you think of what my opinion is on the controversy. But I am sure there is one thing that we can agree on. At least of course with the Drivers' Championship ending in Mexico that there is something to debate and talk about. Because for example, this time last year, the season was over and was quite boring, especially when it came to talking points. And this talking point was one of many from the 2018 Brazilian Grand Prix, which was still for me such a great race. And hopefully in terms of great racing, we can end 2018 on a high in Abu Dhabi. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Saturday with another episode with me and Nib for the podcast. As well, don't forget to join our Discord server, link below in the description as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check out my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and again, comment down below what did you think of my opinion on this incident. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.